Hey everyone, welcome to August Favorites. Um, August is not my favorite month. Um, it seems like it's the beginning of the end, the end of summer, the beginning of the hottest month, August. In, it's just insufferable. But I have some favorites to share with you from the world of fashion and beauty. Actually, not one bit of fashion, but anyway. Okay, so let's just randomly start. I um, got some points at Ulta, my little reward certificate. We all probably got them if you're watching this and live in the United States. And I picked up, actually this was not my first, second, third, or even fourth choice, but they were sold out of absolutely everything that was on the list of stuff that I could get for free. Another reason why I'm not a big fan of Ulta. And um, anyway, I picked this up, the Try Me Sampler from Derm Organic. Have to admit, I've never even heard of them before, and I'm glad it worked out. Um, so the two items that I am, I haven't used the shampoo yet, but I used the, these are good size samples. This is the Intensive Hair Repair Mask, which as far as I, I can tell is really just a heavy duty conditioner because you only leave it in at least a minute. And I just was under the impression that masks were supposed to be in there longer. It's enriched with rice, keratin, and argan oil. The leave-in treatment is this little bottle. And it's really just argan oil, I think. Um, repair, protect, shine. It says work a few drops into clean, damp hair before styling to repair, protect, and seal in shine. And I read somewhere, it may have been on the box, that it also, ah, here it is, that it adds incredible softness and shine and speeds drying time up to 40%. So that was the part I was more interested in. Anyway, I've used these both a couple of times. Still haven't used the shampoo, and my hair is softer and silkier and shinier. Um, so I... I may be repurchasing this stuff when I run out, but they're very generous samples. In addition to those hair products, I have been styling my hair a little differently lately, uh, which you may have noticed, it doesn't always correlate to when I film, but I've been um, letting my hair dry naturally and then curling it with a um, large barrel curling iron. And to add some definition to make it more beachy, of course this is like third day hair, so it's a mess. I picked this stuff up at the hair, Salon. It's by Aveda and it's Light Elements Defining Whip. That's what the looks like there. And it smells, you know, if you like Aveda scents, you'll love this. It's very herbally and fresh. I have no idea what the, it actually smells like. Um, and it's supposed to be weightless separation with medium hold. And it's a cream. I mean, it's thick. It's not going anywhere. And what I like is I just use a little bit um, when it's dry. And I can use it, I love it, to smooth down the flyaways and to run it along the ends to add some definition and separation without hairspray and crunchy. It doesn't feel crunchy um, on the hair. So I've been enjoying that. I didn't use all that. It just, that's how it is in the jar. So a little of this is going to go a very, very long way. And then on to bath products. I did a blog post about that, this product, and if you haven't read it already, um, go click on the link below. It is an ode to caress, scarlet blossom, fine fragrance elixir, red lychee and patchouli oil fragrance. It's a body wash. Um, I don't know what red lychee is supposed to smell like, as opposed to any other color of lychee, or however you pronounce that word, but... Um, <sighs> I wish, I wish smell vision If you're a fan of musk scents and amber and warm, sexy goodness, this stuff is amazing. And it's, it la it's, it's probably terrible. I'm sure it has parabens and sulfates and all kinds of horrible things. Actually, it does not have parabens, but it does have sulfates. So if that's a problem for you, just skip forward over this part. But if you don't care or the scent is enough to overcome your avoidance of sulfates, oh my god. It just makes bathing just an amazing, amazing pleasure. That could be interpreted the wrong way. It's just great, and it's a, it, the scent on me lingers. It's great for layering under lotions and perfumes that are in that same family. Another sample that I received at Ulta, I actually have two of these now. I recently repurchased my Murad cleansing cream, uh, Resurgence cleansing cream, and um, when I purchased that, I got a, a gift free from Murad, and then I recently purchased their... Um, something for acne, for a, an acne system for my son who's been using it and he loves it. And um, anyway, so I got two of these and it's the Post Acne Spot Lightning Gel 
and it has 2% hydroquinone. Oh my gosh, today is not my day. 2% hydroquinone, which some people have issues with, but um, so this is gonna be just a controversial video all around. This stuff really works. I have been using this, you only use this in the evening. I made the mistake of using this in the morning before I went self tanning. Don't do that. I, I had the spray tan done and I had a nice lighter patch. So it, it clearly works. Um, I wash my face at night. I put on my Michael Todd True Organics Anti-Aging New Cream. Could they shorten the name? And then I put this on on top and then my moisturizer. Yes, and then I go to sleep. And I have definitely noticed lightening of my acne pigmentation even more than when I've been using all the other products. So um, as always, when you use any kind of skin lightening treatment, remember to use SPF in, during the daytime. Okay, this palette, they when I bought it, it was called the Stila Natural Eyes Palette. Now it is called the Stila in the Light Palette. And this baby I have used almost exclusively on my eyes all of July and August. Today am I wearing it? No, of course not. Um, this was all I really used. This is all I used on our trip to Orlando last month. These colors are just uh, if, amazing. I would buy this over the Naked palettes um, if you're a neutrals kind of person, a warm neutrals kind of person. If you want a little bit of um, excitement there, there's this dark blue kind of smoky blue-gray. So it's very wearable, I promise. It has your requisite inky black. I don't really want to touch this because I'm going to be covered. It has your black. These are all wearable. They're all There's three matte colors in here, plus the black, I guess, so four. Just, and it came with a lovely eyeliner that I adore that is not in here, but um, compact, thin, wearable. Yes, Stila has major fallout, but if you want creamy, buttery eyeshadows, that what that's what happens is there's fallout. So I just tap it out before I put it on, or if I'm really worried about it, like I'm using some of the darker colors, I'll do my eyes first and then my eye make and then my face makeup. So love this. If you don't already have Stila in the light palette, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. If you're a neutral girl, then um, this is just. I just think this is awesome. When do you ever hear of someone lowering their prices on anything? Never. MAC lowered their prices on the palettes. This is their new palette. It has the hard plastic clear top, and then you can put all these lovely shadows in, and then you get the insert separately, like this one has the insert in it. And um, if you buy this, the empty palette with the insert, I think the palettes are no $8, and the inserts are $2, so $10 for this. Um, I think it's only at Mac stores and online, so I don't know that you could walk up to a counter, say at Nordstrom and pick this up, but 10 bucks or eight, eight if you want it like this, 10 if you want it like this. Obviously the shadows are separate, but they lowered the prices and yay for Mac, because I do prefer these to the Z palettes. I just, I, li I like the heaviness of them. Okay, moving along. Oldie but a goodie. This has made it, I think, into more favorites videos than any other product I own. It's the e.l.f. Golden Bronzer. I was doing my makeup today, and I don't know why I'm fixing my hair, because it can't be fixed, it's a mess. And I was looking a little flat, just a little too matte, and so I took my big kabuki brush, which also happens to be e.l.f., swirled it around, and just went around the edges of my face, and I feel like it just gave my face a little more dimension without being glittery and shiny. So, there's that. Favorite lip combo, am I wearing it? Of course not. Um, but favorite lip combo for this month, I've been wearing it a lot, I wanted, something a little lighter, but not nude. And I picked up MAC Angel, which I think almost everyone in the world owned at that point except me, so I now own it. I don't want to swatch it on that hand. Here we go. So this is what it looks like, and I especially like this layered over a lip liner. So it's a very basic soft pink. So just to jazz it up a bit, I put on top this Pure Illumination lip gloss. I've talked about these before. They're made from pure lanolin. They were originally developed as a nipple cream for breastfeeding mothers and segued into tinted um, lip gloss. And this color is pouty pink. I especially like it has the mirror and if you're in a dark restaurant, it has a light. So you can, you know, see what you're doing. Anyway, I like this shade by itself as well. And now I can't turn it off, but I really like it layered over Angel and it looks like this. Pretty sheer, actually, and it's not swatching well, but it's this top shade there. 
It has pretty good lasting power. I think that's the lanolin. It has a little, little bit of mint in it. I can smell it, and it doesn't make my lips tingle though. But um, just checking out, it, my lips are not dry when I use this, and I, I really like this, and I think it extends the wear of the lipstick underneath it. And then my last favorite, it's kind of gross, but these are, because <laughs> they've been used a lot, I have to wash them. These are the Dr. Scholl's um, inserts. There's several different kinds. I don't know which one this is. Left and right foot, it's telling me. Well, that I know. The Dr. Scholl's inserts, there's all different kinds. There's kinds for high heels, there's kinds for um, walking shoes, there's all different kinds. And um, I was at a party Saturday night and I was wearing a pair of four inch heels that are not known to be comfortable. I have um, my Christian Louboutins and I wore them like five hours and I was fine. So love those. Highly recommend as we're getting into fall season and people are pulling out like their, you know, closed toed pointy shoes and everything. If you want to be a little more comfortable in them, I'm not going to say that it's like walking on air, but it definitely makes the experience more tolerable. I also stick these um, in my ballet flats to give my a little more support. There's some arch support there. Um, I used these when I was in Scotland. I put them in my Tory Burch flats and love them. So I'm going to pick up a few more so I can mix and match. And I need to now wash my hands. I did want to talk about um, my one fail, I guess I'll call it, my not favorite of the month. And that is... Um, I'm really was interested in trying out this trend of colored mascara and I had heard like a deep purple would look great with green eyes. Kind of goes with the tutorial that I did last week. But uh, so I picked up, I didn't want to spend like $30 on the YSL one for a trend, for a gimmick. I just, so I was very excited when I was at Walmart and I saw that Maybelline Great Lash had come out with a limited edition. Uh, it's called So Very Berry. And if you can see, I still have part of the plastic on it, but it's a it's um, almost like a cranberry. It's not a straight out purple. You can really see it there. And I will even go so far as to swatch this hot mess. It's like a reddish brown almost here. Uh, yeah, this would be a big old whopping fail. Luckily this stuff is cheap, so I don't really feel bad about completely wasting my $3 or whatever it was. I think I had a coupon too. First of all, unless I'm standing side lit all the time, you can't tell that there's any color. Um, I tried it again just on the bottom lashes. So let me tell you what this color looks like just on bottom lashes. It looks like I'm bleeding out of my eyes. Um, it flakes and it smudges. So as the day goes on, I'm sorry, it was just so hysterical. As the day went on, I got little red flakes and then it got smudgy. So I literally looked like, <laughs> I'm cracking myself up, but it was quite an image because I didn't realize what was going on. I didn't look in the mirror most of the day until towards the end of the day, and then I realized that I had been walking around looking like some reject from The Walking Dead because I had, like, smudging crimson flakes and smudges running down my face. Literally looked like my eyes were bleeding. I'm sorry. I'm getting a fit of the giggles. Um, anyway, so I'm keeping this because Halloween is right around the corner and I may redo that zombie look I did again next year and this will come in handy. I'll just smudge the crap out of it on purpose and it'll just totally go with the look. So um, unless you want to look like The Walking Dead, skip Great Lash. Um, I, I didn't like the real, for the regular black formula so I don't know what I was thinking with the So Very Berry limited edition but thank god it's limited. They should just limit it right out of the stores. It's terrible. Um, yeah. So anyway, sorry about that giggle fit. I don't know where that came from. Just the, I'm remembering in my head how ridiculous I People must have thought I was insane or diseased or something. Anyway, so um, I hope your month of August was very wonderful and not as hot as where I live. And um, we're all getting ready to go back to school. Our kids are probably in school or if you're in school, I hope your year starts off great. And um, turn this video off and go study. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.